Hey there, Justin from Blaze. Today, we're excited to share our new collaboration feature now available live in Blaze. Collaboration allows you to quickly iterate, collect feedback, and track approvals from members of your Blaze team or even guests from outside of Blaze. I've been working on a blog post and I wanna get some feedback from my business partner, Brandon. So I'm gonna go ahead and click share for review, then invite people and invite him using his email address. If I didn't want to send him an email from Blaze, I could copy and paste the shareable link and send it to him via Slack or some other chat app. Once I've added his email address, I can also set a due date. And as long as there's a due date set, the review process will start and he'll get an email from Blaze inviting him to join. Something to consider. If the email address you are inviting is not yet a member of your workspace in Blaze, you'll have the option to invite them to review as a guest. Guests will only have access to specific files that are shared with them. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add a message so Brandon knows what this review is about. Okay, so this all looks good. I'm going to go ahead and click Send Invite. By clicking View Summary, you can see who was invited to the review, information relating to the actions that they've taken in the document, and you can even manage reviewers by adding more of them or removing them altogether. You can also send reminders, change the due date, and even end the review from the review summary box. Let's jump back to the home screen real quick. To quickly access and manage all of your reviews, go to the navigation bar and click Tasks, then select Your Requests. And by clicking on the request of choice, Blaze will direct you back into the post where you can easily recall the review summary box and track the review progress. Jumping over to Brandon's perspective, we can see that he was invited by email, and by clicking that link, he'll be brought straight to the post to start his review. And as he reviews the document, he can highlight text on the blog post and leave commentary about that specific text. Once he's finished with his review, he can click finish a review and leave overall feedback, approve with some feedback, request another round of changes, or let me know that he's declining to review this document altogether. Jumping back to my own perspective, as the person requesting the review, I also got an email from Blaze summarizing Brandon's feedback. And just like with Brandon, if I click the email, I can jump right back into the document, or I could access it from my tasks inside of Blaze. Inside the document, I can see a summary of Brandon's review, the status he chose, review his notes, and make adjustments accordingly. With the power of collaboration, you can see how easy it is to work with other members of your Blaze team, or even guests from outside of Blaze. Make sure that you're subscribed to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all the ways that Blaze can help you save time and continue to grow your business.